Nylon. Nylon bristles. Because I assume it eats through normal ones. Anymore, I'm just gonna get it black. Let's go. Come to the realization I cannot do this. So I'm just gonna make it black for now. And then be done with it. Send it to someone who knows what they're doing. That is so bad! <laughs> the title of this is going to be like not, How Not To pay, Spray Your Wings. Oh my god! It's black! Which is what we wanted. Or what I wanted. Well, it's better than red, but... <laughs> it's going to go to a bait shop, 100%. It needs to. It's just black, it's better than red. Man, it looks like the Hulk sanded it. So guys, a lot of you know, like, I tried to spray my own wing and it didn't really turn out well. Well, anyway, we've come down to Eden Bridge Accident and Repair Centre. You know Richard, who does the S3. Um, he spoke. To, I spoke to his boss, and we had a nice little chat. And his boss kindly agreed that he said he would sort it out for me. So I've come down here now to get the wing because Richard's done with it. Here he comes, all in his paint gear. How'd it go? <laughs> I've done the best I can to clean up the area with all the silicon and yeah, shit. Okay. Obviously, that's where I tried to spray it the second time. Yeah, that's alright. That sounds healthy. Uh, so we'll watch trim uh, hanging out. But yeah, let's go have a little look at this wing. Right, as you can see, I've currently put a load of filler in all of the holes and other sort of imperfections I've found on his spoiler. So things, you know, that just need sorting out really, just so to make the uh, finished product look a lot better than, well, what he's actually left in for me. Cheers, Bob. Right, so now we've uh, sanded down all of the filler. I've now given it a very nice, uh, thick two coats of black primer just to make sure we hopefully cover all the imperfections that were there. All we'll do next is we'll sand it all down, have a look over the spoiler once we've done that, and see if there is any more imperfections that need doing, and then we shall get on to it. So now we've sanded down all of the first coat of primer, I will now uh, check it out all over and fill up any of these little holes, any sort of imperfections that are here, with a bit of filler, a nasty great big hole there. And then once we've done that, we will move on to doing a bit of silicon sealer along the lines here to secure the fins in for pull. And then once we've done that, we can actually stop in a nice coat of primer on and some paint. Right, I've now sanded down all of the filler work that needed doing, all the holes and stuff like that. I've also silicon sealed all of the fins into place as well. So, grand reveal of my spoiler. He's wrapped it, he's wrapped it up because, I don't know. I didn't want you to sit until you're ready. Let's have a little look. It's actually shiny! Fabulous job here. That's really good, mate. It's actually shiny! <laughs> so you sorted everything out for me. It looks fucking amazing. And you've done all these in as well. Can I touch yeah, it? Never got, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not going to move. So. No, they ain't going anywhere before they were just flapping about like that. But no, he has done a proper good job here. Anything better than I could do, you know, always send it to a professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers for that, Richard. No problem, mate, any time. So yeah, again, massive thank out to Eden Bridge Accident Repair and Richard for sorting the wing. Just sitting in the car at the moment, we're gonna go home and attempt to try and fit it up the best I can. But yeah, really, really um, appreciative of that. But at least it's gloss now. I am gonna try and attempt to fit this wing by myself. When I fit the wing last time, I had someone holding it whilst I put it on. But this time, I haven't got that. So I'm actually gonna take the boot lid off to undo these two bolts, undo those two bolts, take this boot lid off, unclip all of these. Well, I don't need to unclip all of those, but do that, get the boot lid off, stick it on a bin or something so I can to get underneath this to get to these holes and screw the bolt, screw the wing down. So let's get this boot, boot lid successfully off. Got all my nuts and bolts there. Basically, the idea is I'm just gonna silicon around the lines where it should, I think it should go. Get underneath the bin, which I placed it on the bin. 
Do the box now. I'm at the stage if it comes to sticking it on. Anything, I'm going to silicone all the way across these lines because last time I didn't and it still leaked. So silicone all the way across there, pick it up, drop it the best I can on there and then get the best I can underneath to get it on. Let's set it up and do that. silicon going all the way around this time and try and set up the rest I can so you can see how I'm doing it on here by myself it ain't easy But now I've got another problem that encounters by doing it myself. This thing isn't the lightest. And I've got to be able to pick it up by myself, put it on there, do the bolts up by myself without that falling off and the wing falling off because the silicon's still drying. And I'm not 100% keen on those bolts. So it's a tricky one to do by myself. I've got to kind of figure out how to do it, but I'm going to try. I eventually managed to get the wing on different location because I had to get someone to help me because there was physically no way I could have done it but yeah there are a few bits that aren't the greatest but all fled to Richard like I gave him two days to do it like I said could you just I need it on Wednesday and I gave it to him on a Monday so in all fairness he's done really well with what I've given him but the wing is done and it's on and it's gloss and it looks a hell of a lot better than anything I could have ever done. And it's finally coming along. It looks like the part now, so it ain't got some stupid spacky wing on it. But yeah, looking all nice and good. Just needs a really good clean, but yeah, wing is on. Kind of a cosmetic video. Got a fresh, brand new painted Mugen splitter from the guys at Delta Styling. Looks pretty sick. I've only, I've only got it out of the box. I haven't really looked at it that much yet. And yeah, we're just at the garage, got the slag up on ramps. Let's get it on. 